I would like to give an overview about the top resources for the LISP project so that you can stay informed, get the latest updates about our progress and engage with our community. Our number one resource is of course our website list.io and its blog. Um, we are publishing between two and four blog posts every week. So there you can get all the information necessary about the list project. If you want to engage with our community members, then Lisk Chat, which is a Discord server, uh, is definitely the place to be. That's the place where we are trying to build out our core community consisting of developers and we call them hardcore blockchain enthusiasts. So um, yeah, join this chat, make sure to engage with our community, ask them questions, you will get answers very, very fast. Um, and they can also participate in our AMAs, either from the research team, my AMAs or many others we are going to host in the future. If, you, if you're someone who would rather just follow a social media channel than visiting a website again and again or joining a chat program, then our go-to place is definitely Twitter. There we are cross-posting every announcement we have. Um, from the blog posts to smaller announcements to dev updates uh, to new releases on our product suite. So Twitter is our main social media channel. Um, if you're liking more a video format, YouTube is also definitely a place where you should be and sub subscribe to our channel, either to the Lisk channel or to my personal one, which you're watching right now. Um, we, are, we have planned to do more YouTube um, content in the future, so stay tuned. It's currently not being utilized to its maximum potential by far, um, but this is, I think, going to change going forward. Um, if you're a fan of Reddit, where the OG crypto community um, like col collects or uh, like was part of back in the day, um, and nowadays with huge subreddits like the Bitcoin one or the cryptocurrency one, um, then we are there as well. It's not that active, unfortunately, but we are making sure to cross post all major announcements there as well. Um, we're doing the same with these typical crypto um, portfolio apps like Blockfolio and Delta. There we are trying to cross post all major announcements. On Blockfolio, we have to do this manually through the signal feature. On Delta, it's pulling all the latest blog posts uh, automatically from our RSS feed. So if you have one of these apps, make sure to start the list project, then you get the latest updates um, from us as well. We are cross-posting also to Facebook, um, but doing nothing else on that platform. Um, we accept that there are many, many people present on Facebook and it's a good social media channel for outreach. However, we think for the crypto community, Twitter, YouTube, Discord are better resources to focus on. Um, and last but not least, we have also a, tra a Telegram channel, um, which is um, not really an official channel. We have taken back ownership of it. I am active on it and our community moderators are active on it as well. However, we see Telegram not as a serious place to have conversations in or at. Um, it's more for traders and um, let's say um, people who are just getting very excited about the, about the price. However, we want to build a community of developers and people who really want to make use of the underlying technology. So if I would be you, I would just use the website and the blog for the big official announcements, Lisk chat to engage with our core community and the developers in it, Twitter to follow our latest announcements um, and YouTube to get some video content. Um, Blockfolio Delta are great if you are a trader and have a portfolio um, and need to keep track of multiple cryptocurrencies. So these are working quite fine as well. Reddit, unfortunately, is not so active um, as um, 
like other cryptocurrency subreddits probably however we're not putting a lot of focus on that right now and facebook and telegram just exist um, but i wouldn't rely on them for getting the latest news